The incredibly Marca Wati Plateau captivates our imagination in the fact that at this place in Peru, we can find exotic animals like camels, frogs, alligators, and even hippopotamus. The striking features here apparently carved into the mountain rock. The apparent features discovered here in the 1950s suggest that a pre-civilization existed here before this current wave of existence. A long lost civilization that has only survived because of these granite sculptures. If this is real, and they obviously are, although some have attested this to be the work of nature itself, but if they are real then this shows the modern world that humans did exist in an advanced setting over 12,000 years ago before this wave of existence. The curiosity surrounding the carving continues with the revelation that a Stagosaurus appears at this place and the realization of visibility during a certain time of the day. When the light projects at a certain angle to reveal the features of the wonders suggests that this may be some sort of long lost understanding of the cosmos and the understanding here is not understood in modern times. The mind-numbing qualities present here points out the obvious, does it not? That an advanced civilization did exist here, one that is now lost. But these sculptures are not accepted to have been worked by intelligent earthlings. Ancient civilizations did make things bigger. They also made things visible only from the sky, but that only makes sense if they could have seen these things from the sky. and. We are told that isn't possible. The most famous geoglyphs are the Nazca lines, but there are others, most notably in England. In the 1920s, it was revealed upon aerial investigation relating to the possibility that King Arthur's table may be related to the signs of the zodiac, and guess what? They found it. So called the Glastonbury zodiac and the apparent inspiration behind King Arthur's round table according to the writer K.E. Maltwood, who tried to prove that King Arthur's round table were representing the constellations of the zodiac and that these symbols were dramatically carved into the landscape in a time long past, before the arrival of the Celts and probably during the time of the builders of Stonehenge. K.E. Maltwood discovered that what was carved into the landscape in Somerset were the figures of the bull, the lion, zodiacal figures dating to 3,000 and 15,000 years before Christ, carving a distance of 10 miles and forming the cycle of the zodiac, created into the landscape for reasons we do not yet know about, except that it is of astronomical importance by people who no longer exist. This is lost understanding from a time we thought didn't happen. These claims of an existent presence of ancient knowledge is seen across the world. Why would they create such things that are only visible from above? Here's a sobering thought. The Mayans recorded sophisticated astronomical information. Their calendar dates to 3420 BC and many researchers agree that a Mayan date is much more accurate to a typical Georgian day is based. The Mayan calendar is accurate to within one day over 300 years of cycle. This is but one example of the apparent technical brilliance of the Mayan who combined many aspects to reach these accuracies. The synoptic return of a planet, for example, is the time it takes a planet to return to the same location in the sky as seen by the astronomer. Venus moves around the Sun every 220.7 days, but because Earth also revolves around the Sun, the synoptic period of Venus to the astronomer is 583.92 days till it appears at the same location. The Mayans knew the synoptic movements of the inner planets up to Saturn with startling precision. From this we can conclude that they knew the exact length of a year with incredible precision. Their method of combining the cycle of time using long count numbers would suggest an extremely long presence on the Earth to even begin to understand these astronomical things. Archaeological remains are only dating 1200 years before Christ. This means, and with no stretch of the imagination whatsoever, that there is a 2000 year gap in our historical understanding of Mayan culture alone. 
Maybe the Mayans ascertained their knowledge from an even older culture present in Mesoamerica. And the obvious place to look is the mighty Olmec civilization, the possible first wave of survivors of a cataclysmic event and who still possess the advanced knowledge of the ancients. What if we were to tell you that the knowledge that the Mayans related to astronomy and calendars can be dated back 500 million years without any era of judgment as reported by J. Eric Thompson. Saturn-Jupiter conjunctions happen every 20 years. The Mayan detailed this to happen 78,170 times over a period of 147,420,000,000 days. These calculations were present in the mystery of the Mexican pyramid, where the author cites the presence of a very long number which was found on cuneiform on a tablet discovered in Babylon. The cuneiform figure, which contained 15 digits, actually represents seconds and accounting 240 equinoxes, which last 25,890 years. Some call this the Nineveh constant. Just some food for thought, and we hope you guys are all doing well out there. Keep watching, guys, and remember that the ways of which we arrive at knowledge is hardly less wonderful than the discovery of these things themselves. Thank you for watching.